There are just six days, as you know, until the Alabama Senate vote, and overnight Republican candidate Roy Moore got some high-profile support from Steve Bannon, President Trump's former chief strategist. Our chief national correspondent, Tom Yamas, was there and joins us this morning. Good morning, Tom. Robin, good morning to you. Steve Bannon unleashing on what he calls the elite and the Republican establishment that are out to destroy Roy Moore in a move straight out of the Trump campaign playbook. This, as the Democrat in this race, is trying to fire up his base to show up on Election Day. On December 12th, you'll see an election that the world won't forget. Overnight, Roy Moore telling Thank supporters you. in Alabama to send him to the U.S. Senate so he can help push the Trump agenda. We still have no wall. We still have illegal aliens crossing the border. We still have Obamacare. We still haven't passed the tax program. Working on it. At the rally with Moore, Steve Bannon. The president's former chief political strategist defending more against those allegations he sexually assaulted two teenage girls. If they can destroy Roy Moore, they can destroy you. And taking on Republican establishment stalwart Mitt Romney after Romney tweeted that Roy Moore in the U.S. Senate would be a stain on the GOP and on the nation. You hid behind your religion. You went to France to be a missionary while guys were dying in rice paddies in Vietnam. Do not talk to me about honor and integrity. Judge Roy Moore has more honor and integrity in that pinky finger than your entire family has in its whole DNA. Bannon also taking on Republican Senator Jeff Flake of Arizona, who sent this $100 check to Moore's Democratic opponent, Doug Jones, writing on the memo line of the check, country over party. Come on, brother, if you're going to write a check, write a check, yeah. right? Don't give the man $100. Are you kidding me? But Moore's opponent, Doug Jones, keeping the accusations against Moore front and center. And I damn sure believe that I have done my part to ensure that men who hurt little girls should go to jail and not the United States Senate. Now, Moore has denied those accusations and says he's being attacked because he wants to bring Alabama values to Washington. So far, Mitt Romney has not responded to those attacks from Steve Bannon. We have reached out for comment, George. Okay, boy, the fallout from this race is going to play out for a long time. Tommy Thomas, thanks very much.